The K-9 Thunder is a relatively new addition to the forces of the South Korea Army and is of indigenous design and production. Having spent decades utilizing American-based weaponry, the nation has increasingly looked inwards to field a more modern army to counter any aggression from the North. A complete nation for a time in its history, Korea was divided after Japanese invasion in World War II between the Communist North, backed by the Soviet Union, and the Democratic South, backed by the United States. A formal invasion of the South by the North, with Soviet and Chinese blessing, brought about the Korean War, 1950-1953 that ultimately resulted in a loose armistice with the conclusion of war never formally declared. As such, the North and South have seen tensions rise and fall throughout the decades since the division, leading to a regional arms race backed by major world powers. Despite the constant threat of nuclear weapons across the Korean peninsula today, it remains that artillery will play a grand role in any large-scale ground operations between the North and South armies, and the K-9 Thunder fits the bill, able to lob 155mm high explosive, nuclear, anti-infantry projectiles some 40 km away. The K-9 is in the same class of vehicles as the highly modernized American M109, Paladin, the British AS-90 and German PZH-2155 mm self-propelled gun platforms and utilizes the latest in South Korean engineering and digital technology unmatched by any product of the North. Design of the K-9 by Samsung Techwin began in 1989 and prototypes were unveiled in 1994. A period of evaluation and delivery of pre-production vehicles spanned into 1998, ultimately leading to serial production and formal introduction of the system as the Thunder into the Republic of Korea Army in 1999. Since then, the type has seen approximately 532 examples delivered for service to both the Army and Marine Corps branches of service, and has already seen combat action when K-9 units delivered salvos against the North in November of 2010 in a return fire action. The K-9 is crewed by five specialists made up of the driver, vehicle commander, gunner, and a pair of loaders managing the 155mm projectiles. The driver maintains a forward left hull seating, apart from the crew, whilst the rest of the crew takes their places in the fully enclosed turret superstructure. The turret sports slightly sloped side panels and a flat roof. Various modern internal systems give the gunnery crew of the K-9 a distinct battlefield edge in sustainable rate of fire and placement of rounds over any known system available to the North Korean Army. While the K-9 is not necessarily designed to fire on the move, her systems are designed as such that her weaponry can be brought to bear in short order, setup time is reported to require just one minute of preparation, and the whole vehicle can then be displaced to a new firing location as required, making for a harder target to locate and engage for the enemy. This type of mobility is a much sought-after quality on today's modern battlefield, giving the K-9 a distinct, smart, edge in open warfare. However, the true key to the success of the K-9 system is its use of what is known as a time-on-target digital fire control system. The fire control system manages the firing action of the main gun. This computerized arrangement allows the gunnery crew the ability to land three successive 155mm shells in one area, having fired all three rounds in the span of just 15 seconds. The integrated computer calculates the second and third shell's trajectory based on the first that was launched, and automatically adjusts the firing of these two successive projectiles to allow all three shells to arrive on target at the same time, more of less ensuring a neutralized target or target area. Outwardly, the K-9 shares a design arrangement not unlike the American M109, it replaces what with a rear-set, slab-sided turret emplacement and boxy hull. The turret sports the 155mm main gun attached to an internal mount and necessary recoil system. Traversal of the main gun within its mount is plus 70 to minus 2.5, with 360-degree rotation possible thanks to the rotating powered turret structure. Various side and roof-mounted hatches make for relatively easy entry-exit by the crew and for the purposes of ammunition resupply. Communications antenna are noted at each rear corner of the turret roof as is a stowage rack along the rear facing. Pioneer tools, that is, items such as sledgehammers, shovels and axes can be mounted to support arms on the outside of the turret, these tools useful for digging the crew and vehicle in for the long haul. Steel-based armor protection is reported at 19mm in maximum thickness and both an NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, and night vision system are standard in the K-9's design. 
primary armament is a long-barreled 155mm L52 series, 52 caliber main gun that is cleared to fire a plethora of standardized projectile types. Rocket-assisted munitions can also be utilized to increase the gun's maximum reach as need be, keeping her far from the dangers of the front lights. The barrel sports a noticeable fume extractor midway across its length, and a unique multi-baffled muzzle brake is used to help retard the inherently violent recoil of launching a 155mm explosive projectile. The main barrel can be locked into place over the forward hull with a folding support arm when the K9 is in transport, the length of the gun barrel necessitates that it be stowed in this fashion. South Korean engineers have also developed an indigenous high-explosive round known under the designation of K307, that is the standardized projectile of the K9, and the loading process is further handled by an automatic function that lessens crew workload with only the charges needing management, by the loaders as required. The main gun is supplemented by a defensive-minded 12.7mm Daewoo K6 heavy machine gun to help combat low-flying aircraft and is managed by the commander via a provided cupola. The 12.7mm heavy machine gun is supplied with 500 rounds of ammunition. While some 48 by 155 mm projectiles are stowed about the interior of the K9, the Thunder is resupplied in action by the automated K-10 ammunition carrier which utilizes the same hull and track design of the K-9, sands the powered turret, making it an economically and logistically friendly measure produced alongside the K-9. The K-10 is identifiable by its protruding ammunition arm and fixed superstructure, but more or less maintains the same appearance and layout as the base K-9. A powered tray on the K-10 feeds fresh 155mm projectiles in through the rear of the K9 turret structure. The K9 is powered by a German-based MTU brand MT881KA 500 series 8-cylinder, water-cooled diesel engine delivering up to 1,000 horsepower at 2,750 rpm. This allows the Thunder a top speed of 67 km per hour as well as an operational range of approximately 480 km. The engine is mounted to the right of the driver's seating placement in the forward hull and mated to an s and Dynamics Company, X1100-5A3 series transmission system. The K9 features hydropneumatic suspension across all of its road wheels allowing for excellent cross-country mobility, a requirement considering the rugged nature of the Korean countryside. There are six rubber-tired road wheels to a track side with the drive sprocket mounted to the front of the track system, the track idler at the rear and three track return rollers between and above the first, second, and third wheel pairings. The K9 can ford water sources up to 1.5 meters deep. Beyond the South Korean Army, Turkey has become a recent recipient of the K9 with licensed production of the Thunder as the T-155 Fertina, translating to Storm. Some 300 or so of these Turkish variants are expected to be fielded within time. Following Turkey's lead is Egypt which remains a potential customer of the K9 as well, with an agreement between it and South Korea having been formed. Egypt has also fielded the American M109. The Australian Army is reportedly considering the South Korean K9 in an effort to modernize its current stable of artillery systems. July 2016, the Finnish Army has selected the K9 Thunder as its new SPG platform. February 2017, the Finnish Army has announced that up to 48 ex-South Korean Army K9 vehicles will be acquired to modernize its land forces, succeeding an aging stock of field howitzers. These are designated K9 FIN, Mukari, Sledgehammer. November 2018, the Indian Army has formally introduced the localized K9 Varja T, Lightning, self-propelled gun systems from South Korea. 100 units will eventually make up the fleet. Final deliveries will occur before the end of 2020.